Recently, my family and I took a Thursday through Monday cruise on the Carnival Freedom out of Port Canaveral, Florida. It was our first time cruising with Carnival and our first time trying an interior cabin. And to say the very least, this cruise was a stunning departure from what we're used to when cruising. Here's our unsponsored and our candid experience in the Carnival Freedom. Join us today as we do just a little splorin'. Good morning, as you can see, there are some people here, and the reason for that is because we are not going to Princess K today on day number three like we said we were going to. We have encountered quite the storm, which first of all, made for an incredible evening, by the way, of sleep disturbances. It is uh, a little amusing. We've shut down a lot of non-essential services because, you know, safety. But, uh, booze and casinos are very much essential services, I suppose. You watch people rocking around. The boat is tilted, by the way. It keeps tilting. There's 50 mile per hour winds, as I understand it see people sort of leaning as they walk. 50 mile per hour winds will do that to you. You can see people are lined up to get into the main dining room today. The, the choices are a little limited is what you can do. Uh, for obvious reasons, they've closed most of the upper deck where uh, the pool is, and uh, that's how you get to the buffet. So uh, I think you can still get to the buffet for the time being, but they kind of shy you away from doing so, and as you can see people are going to do the main dining room instead. Just how choppy is it? Well, let me show you. Fairly choppy. I mean, it's, it's not like it's you're going down choppy, but it's you're walking sideways choppy. By the way, we're over by the Alchemy Bar right now. It's not uh, open right now, but the theme of the bar is, uh, they say Alchemy, but it looks like it's actually like an old time uh, pharmacy, which is kind of cool. Well, we want to show. Curious as to what the Freedom looks like when everyone who is on board stays on board. We're gonna make an absolute killing at the casino today. Super busy down here in the atrium today. Might as well be, there's not really a ton else going on just yet. The, uh, the walkway, obvious reasons. And this particular restaurant is closed, so I thought it'd be a good chance to get over here and show you this side of the boat. You can see the waves really going. And now we're going to go over to the other side of the boat. So what I'm hearing is 50 mile per hour winds, or at least gusts of up to 50 miles per hour. Uh, not sustained. That would be, that would be a completely different video. But uh, 50 mile per hour gusts so the boat, it's hard to see in the video, but the boat is currently leaning slightly like this. I mean, you can kind of see you know, over here, see it looks slightly <laughs> higher than over here. It's not bad. Uh, generally speaking, it's not bad. People who have uh, balance issues, inner ear issues, or motion sickness, yeah, they're, they're not doing anywhere near as well. But for the vast majority of us, it's noticeable but not bad. It's not safe to be out and about up there, but it's, it's I thought I'd head up to the top and let you see kind of what's going on out here. As you can see, the pool is a no-no today. You can see sloshing around there. Let me get you a better view of that. Somebody said, am I allowed to buy pictures I'm not in? Crazy, right? And I, I, I collab. Could so you imagine? People are allowed out here. House and there's just pictures of people. They don't really want like, you going in the water. I know just a photo I liked. Okay. And have a hey, uh, of your fireplace. I like to dress, so I'm all. We've got some right. gentlemen right. over here That's making sure you don't try it. Uh, looks like you can, so however, so uh, so uh, get into the. Anyway, you can take your own photos. Buy your own photos. Not entirely sure why you'd want to. It's pretty dead out here, and that's not surprising. Let me show you a little bit as to what we're dealing with. 
water with uh, now. It's been about an hour since the last time I showed you the water. So, if anything, it honestly seems to be a little bit better. So, as you can see, it's it's still definitely a little choppy out there, but it's nothing like what it used to be. And if you, if you pan up just a little bit, you can see the skies are definitely a little bit lighter, way off in the distance, which is, is still, you know, it's not over us, but it's better. It was just pure dark gray before. So obviously things are starting to clear up a bit. As you can see, they do have some of the food choices open over here. It looks like people are eating food from the buffet. Um, certain things like the blue iguana are still closed. I'm going to turn slightly. You can see that they are mopping water off of the decks. I'm trying to keep them as safe as possible to walk on. Uh, that bar is open over there. This bar, however, is closed. Um, looks like the towel rental place, and I say rental, but honestly, they're free unless you lose them. Uh, that is closed right now. And uh, get a load of the pool. I can only imagine what the pool looked like a couple of hours ago when it was really bad. It's crazy. A couple of changes. We were supposed to go to Princess K today, uh, which is uh, Carnival's private island. It's sort of like their their answer to a perfect day, Coco K. As I understand, it's, it's nowhere near as uh, elaborate. But uh, regardless, that was supposed to be today. We are not going there. Uh, to get to the island, you have to take a shuttle. These waves made it very unsafe for the shuttle to travel, so they, they have decided we're, we're just going to skip over Princess K altogether, make today sea day. And then tomorrow, we're going to go to Freeport, Bahama. Um, Freeport was not on our agenda originally, but they're giving us uh, a day there in order to kind of make up for this unexpected sea day. Uh, hold on a second. The pool is starting to get a little choppier again. Look at that. Okay, hold on a second. It's going to come up over here. Okay, that was not as bad as it was a moment ago. A minute ago, it really came up. Not that that's good, it's just, this is slightly better than it was a moment ago. I figure we'll go back into the uh, buffet area and see how things are affecting it back there. People are still drinking. You got that going for them, I guess. Looks like an omelet station and breakfast are still open. Going to turn slightly. Coming over here. Head back. Looks like the deli is open. I gotta say, the deli was pretty good yesterday when I tried that. Very busy back here. I can only imagine how many people would be out here if uh, A, they knew that everything was open, and B, if people weren't in their cabins sick. And there are quite a few people who were not feeling good today, obviously. Coming around the corner. Breakfast grill is open. I think this is pastries, it looks like. Maybe donuts that they got going over here. We'll take a quick look. Um, cinnamon rolls, yeah, we got cinnamon rolls. Got some cinnamon swirl Danish, sticky buns, things like that. Over here is your, your usual breakfast. With bacon and sausage and ham and eggs and all of the usual American items. Heading back to the adults only pool. Uh, it's clear, no one's in it, which is no shock, but it actually seems to be a lot smoother back here. It's not it's not fluttering around quite as much. I like that word, by the way, flutter. I feel like that's not a really an adequate word for what we saw a moment ago, but flutter. Looks like Pizza Pirate remains open in the meantime. Here's the menu for Pizza Pirate, by the way. You can choose, uh, you know, sort of your cheese pizza, your mushroom, pepperoni. Uh, four cheese prosciutto or a Caesar salad. And they they do seem to uh, be making it fresh while we wait. Back to the other side of the boat again. It's it's definitely on this side. A little choppier, as you can see right there. The wake is a little choppy. It's a lot better than it was. Uh, I am noticing, however, that we can see. And you're probably not going to see it so well with the camera, but to the naked eye, you can see there is there is a land mass out there. So we're getting closer to something. It is starting to lighten up a little bit. Even on the uh, yeesh, even out here on the pool deck, the, the middle pool deck where it was so rough earlier. Obviously, we fixed that hole 
rough pool water issue that we were dealing with before. That being said, they're trying to pull the uh, the deck chairs out, which tells me that they expect things to clear up pretty well in the next a couple hours, I would guess. But these new games is, for the most part, you have no idea what you're doing. You, you just push a button, and if the noise and the lights look happy, you get money. Speaking of happy, that, uh, that does not look happy. So this is fun. They're, they're actually telling us all to go back to our rooms and get our stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why yet. But uh, about that, this is turning out to be a much more interesting vlog than I expected it to be. So, you know, subscribe below, hit that big thumbs up button, and uh, start swimming. So I was just told that the boat, the tailpiece that was on fire before, is on fire again. <laughs> so I'm not, not entirely sure how that's going to work, but uh, you know, there we go. Here we go. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Cardinal Freedom Guest. This is a Captain Joseph with an important announcement. A fire was reported on the funnel, ship's funnel, port side. Open decks. The ship's special response team is at the scene extinguishing the source. Once they have been confirmed, it has been completely extinguished, the cause will be investigated. All guests and crew are safe. Please avoid open decks at this stage. The situation is under control and all safety systems and hotel services remain fully operational. Our fleet operations center in Miami and the appropriate authorities have been notified as per protocol. Thank you so much and I give you more updates in a few minutes. Thank you for understanding. So apparently it's out in the open. So switched phones because running out of battery, but uh, they just cut in again, letting us know that uh, we are not allowed to be in the balconies, which honestly makes perfect sense. It's kind of a choppy day anyways, no real good reason to be on the balconies regardless. Uh, we are, I don't know, maybe about an hour and 20 minutes in, they are still fighting the fire, so everything's under control, but the fire is still going. Um, I just saw some pictures of the fire from another gentleman. Actually, I went live on uh, on Splorin uh, a little while ago, and uh, the gentleman stopped by with a bunch of photos of the fire. He showed it to us live on the stream, so uh, I'm going to try to, by the time this video goes up, maybe cut that one up and see if I can post them. But, uh, that's where we are right now. We're currently here at the Havana Club as we, uh, we wait for something, <laughs> some sort of update. The Havana Club is currently being used as a kids uh, trivia and Build-A-Bear workshop because nothing quite says family friendly like a 1950s era dictator. It's starting to smell a little like sewage. I just did better not turn into a poop throws. Tell you what. Okay, show us, show us the drawing that you made. So let me let me pull back and let it uh, let's let's yeah pull back just a little bit. Stop right there. So um, let's 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 take a, a good look at this picture. Kate Kate drew this. This is uh, this is the build a bear and uh, he's on fire. Uh, there's the uh, this is the island. This is Princess K. Uh, it's on fire. Uh, here's here's the building itself. I'm sorry, the ship itself. Uh, as you can see, it's it's on uh, fire. And then over here is the four of us. We're enjoying our vacation together. It's family time. And we're on fire. Quick update. We're in the casino right now. Uh, don't ask. Anyways, quick update. Uh, they have confirmed that they think it was a lightning strike that hit the... Uh, fit the whale tail. Nothing terribly surprising about that. Uh, they just said that the fire has now fallen on the deck 10, which I don't think is a good thing, but uh, that's about what we had so far. So, so we hope to take a 
Yes, they also turned the shift so that the rain that was blowing in from one direction will now blow onto the fire to help put the fire out. So, uh, go Mother Nature, I suppose. As you can see, these folks are these folks are not overly worried. So uh, we just cut in. The fire is out. The fire is out, uh, and they are continuing on with dinner as it was always scheduled to be. Uh, looks like lightning strike. Like I said earlier, uh, lightning strike is probably what caused it. And in the meantime, uh, we're going to go get some dinner because. For obvious reasons, we skipped lunch. Well, uh, after all that, it's <laughs> looks like it's back open. Very rainy, but uh, there's some lightning, some drunk idiots, and stuff like that going on. But look at that tail. Kind of surprised, but uh, they do have this deck technically open. There's some people drinking over there. Uh, this this particular bar is down and yeah. great view of the aftermath. I kind of doubt that anybody books a cruise with the thought that they'd become part of a national news story, but at the end of the day, everyone was safe and we're all ready to touch down in Freeport tomorrow. Oh, and uh, yes, we have an excursion to show you. Join us next time as we do just a little more exploring.